everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. We're back again for Patch Tuesday. Uh, I think 11th time this year, since it's November, that makes sense. Uh, this is actually a pretty mild month, all things considered. Only 66 total exploits got patched. 10 of those are critical, but even among the critical, all of those are rated, like none of them are over 9.0. I think 8.8 .8 is the highest, and it, it's for reasons like uh, either they have to click on a malicious link or connect to a malicious server. So there's 10 critical, but overall the ones that are there don't feel horrific, I think is the highest positive. I'll, I'll give that one. On the downside, one of them is already publicly disclosed, and there's four of these that are actively exploited in the wild. That's, that's high. Four being actively exploited is a big deal. So it's one of those things, yay, it's not the worst in terms of overall numbers, but where things are already being exploited, it's... Uh, Probably important to stay on top of your patching, uh, definitely, this month. Uh, so some of the, the highlights are low lights that I have to cover here. Uh, 2022 41047. It's the highest rated or one of the highest rated criticals at 8.8. .8. It's a remote execution, and it does the ODBC driver. So if someone sends a link to a bad SQL query, they're able to run code remotely on the device. So that's the bad one, but it does involve the user having to click on it. Uh, the next one down, uh, the 41128, it's got a lot of similar things. The only difference is instead of the ODBC, it uses Windows scripting language, but it's the same thing. Uh, user has to click on something, or in this case, they have to connect to a corrupted server to get that one to run. Uh, this last one we're highlighting is just kind of a, a fun one for me to highlight. It's only a 5.4. It uh, impacts the Windows Mark of Web security feature. Basically, it allows someone to bypass a weird feature in Microsoft that doesn't actually give them access to anything, but it does let them either a loss of availability or a loss of integrity. But overall risk is not high. The reason I highlight that one, even though it's rated so low when it does on the grand scheme of things, such a low impact is this one is both the one that's publicly known and is actually exploited in the wild, which is rare to see both of those in a single exploit. So I figured I'd still bring that one up, even though it's not, not the worst. Uh, so overall, that's that's it. There's not a lot going on. Uh, there was an open SSL 3.0 bug. Uh, I'm going to talk about that one in the next video. You can click on, it's right, right there's the link. There's the link. Either way, it's, uh, it's at least we found something new to talk about. It's always going to be something's exploited. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.